So Kevin, what happened yeah. this year? What happened? What happened with us? You know, every year we go to summer camp. Every year we have, oh, we call it tour. The both of those of us who do it though. It's like summer camp for adults. We missed our season 25 tour. I can't believe it. It is like camp. And you know, it's not just the appraisers, it's the whole crew. I mean, it, it's like a circus when we go on the road. So how are we gonna get all that magic into what we do for season 25? I mean, this is a milestone season for Antiques Roadshow. And because of you and some of your colleagues, of course, we're able to do that. You, you, you really amazed me when we got that first email and then you started calling everybody up with some ideas. And then having been involved with some of the cool stuff that you're doing for the show now, I'm like, this is really, really good stuff. So why don't you tell us about it? So we got the season premiere coming up on January 4th. We're starting that first Monday night, as we always do. 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we have an episode for you we call American Stories. And that is an hour of some of the really stories that represents a lot of what's happened across America. But you know, I really want to get to some of that juicy stuff early. Kev. Yes. The celebrity shows. That's what we're calling them behind the scenes. The celebrity shows. Celebrity shows are very cool, I have to admit. We really worked to come up with an idea that we could do because as we say behind the scenes, it's small team shooting. And that is that we're gonna visit with people of note. And those people of note, I'm not telling you their names yet, but I will like give you little hints. Like, uh, let's see, an iconic late night talk show host well-known comedian, uh, an Olympic medalist, well-known author. Um, having participated in some of them already, for, first I was nervous. You know, you're meeting somebody like that. Um, you see these people on TV in a movie, so you know, you just want to be on your game. Um, but what I found is after the uh, appraisals with these celebrities, you really got um, the same reaction you get with people that come to our shows in the past years. So you always get a, a smile and a thank you. You know, people are grateful that you, for what you know. And you know what, as we all know, people are people. And as a result, here we are, the lucky benefactors, all of us who are gonna watch and learn from them because what we do at Antiques Roadshow, ultimately everybody, hate to tell you this, we teach history, only we do it fun through material culture. You just don't notice you're learning. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen here. And uh, the shows are gonna sizzle and I can't wait to share them with everybody. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, one of the appraisals I did with one of our guests that's coming up from season 25, I had a fight back with tears. It, it got reversed. It was emotional for me, the story he was telling me because I had a connection to it. And it caught me off guard. You know, I, I was the one needing the tissue almost for a second. And it's just a great piece of footage when an appraiser cries. So next time, let it go. <laughs> all right, all right. You're going to make me cry now. You know so that. I got a question for you. Yeah. When does this premiere? These three shows, because we're making three shows of this, are going to premiere in May. And then for the rest of the winter, we have coming what, it doesn't matter whether I'm walking down the street or I'm at a big event or they're writing to us. People's favorite shows are our vintage shows where we update prices. We're making those shows as we speak and finding out from people like Kevin, did those prices go, come on, you know this line, up, down, up, down. same. <laughs> For all the things that go down, what's that noise it makes? <laughs> there, are, there are pockets of things that are going up. I know we have coming up and I, I think the, the lesson out there for all of you who are hunting value, that those of us, when we revisit them on our vintage shows, didn't buy it to make money. They bought whatever they bought because they love it. And lo and behold, it's worth a lot of money. But also, I don't want to neglect to mention, we are also working on another show that you are going to love, love, love because we love making it. You know, when we love making these shows, we know you're going to love it. You saw Extraordinary Finds last year. Right. Yeah. That's like the stories of our items after our cameras left town. Such amazing stories in that. We're making another episode of that. I love uh, that show. After that, we have more theme specials coming than ever before. 
And we love these things. We spend a lot of time coming up with how we're going to theme them. So we have a show that's working title, everything. You're, you're hearing stuff early. So we haven't finished that kind of finalizing. Uh, but I like it. A working show like Crybabies. You're not going to want to miss our theme specials. So Kevin, this has been the best seeing you. Yes. Really great to see you. Hug, hug from afar. Virtual hugs. We'll be on the road again, Kevin, together. This too. Can't will wait. Yeah, we'll be back, baby. <laughs>